Me, hi Akon, now that I have your portrait done, can we get some more information on you please? Akon, very well, hello Sharon. You have been busy this evening. Me, always. I'm like a galactic news service. LOL. Akon, what you do is important. Do not underestimate it. Me, I don't. I would like to get some information on you so that the viewers can be more familiarized with who you are and where you come from. Akon, very well. Me, you live on the planet Meaton which rotates around Proxima Centauri in the Alpha Centaurian system, which is four light years from Earth. What dimension are you in? Akon, we live in the higher fourth dimension. Me, so relatively new, then? Akon, there are, but there are higher dimensions of Alpha Centaurians as well. Their culture has more of what would be your olden days look to it in the fifth dimension, around what your Europe would consider the 16th or 17th centuries. They seem to prefer this appearance to anything modern. Me, but your dimension is more modern? Akon, we have all the implements but our furniture is more minimalistic than 5D. Me, so why the switch? Akon, it is preference, that is all. When you explore the galaxy you can adapt your housing to the look of anyone's abode upon any planet at all. Perhaps they viewed your 17th century Earth and liked the look of the buildings and the furniture, so they created their world in that style. Me, wow, that's interesting. Akon. As you know it is simply the rearrangement of atoms to create what one wishes. So life is led to your preference. Me, so I'm assuming you're with Elizabeth now on meet. Akon, yes, her name is now Gladila. Me, like Gladila. That's a nice name. Akon, she was as you are, a galactic incarnate, who had left her body in stasis to be born on Venus. Since she passed away on Earth she has resumed her incarnation as my mate and Ailing's mother on meat. Me, so how did you manage to get a baby off of Venus and into the hands of Earth parents? And why go to Earth? Akon, she was transplanted to Earth parents after being born on Venus and supplied with Earth DNA as well. She needed to have a mix of both types of DNA for the birth of our baby, Ailing. Her Earth parents were not consciously aware that they had a transplanted baby. Me, I sense some mind manipulation going on. Akon, we are capable of it as well. The higher consciousness was aware, of course, and agreed to this arrangement. Me, is she living on me nor is she on ship with you? Akon, both. She goes back and forth. Our son is with me on board ship, as yours is with Ivo. Ailing is also training to be a scientist. Me, I'll bet he has a good teacher. Akon, you are most gracious. Thank you. Me, so I remember Elizabeth writing that you were slightly older than we customarily think of extraterrestrials as being. Akon, yes, I am more advanced in years. However we live to be thousands of years old. We can also simply switch our consciousness to a younger body and continue to live if we wish to. Me, don't you have reincarnation rules you have to live by? Akon, smiling, yes, your limited view of what life is. We are always a consciousness. We can choose a physical body or choose to live disembodied. There are always things that must be learned in any state and if we feel we have not lived our current life to the fullest, we can simply extend it until we are finished learning what we wish to. Me, and so you could die together with Gladelia, if you want. Akon, yes, we can. Much as you and Ivo do. You consistently are born at the same times and it is already a given that you will be together. Yes, I hear your thoughts about being away from him physically on earth. You have chosen to do this in this lifetime and it is to be of service. Unfortunately on your earth, service often means loneliness without your galactic partner with you. It is not a popular place to reincarnate on. Me, you think? LOL. Akon, we do not enjoy the low vibration and the feeling of being separate from our brethren. Me, yes, it can be lonely, that's for sure. We're all waiting for you to land. Akon, as you have mentioned. Me, so she described your houses in the book she wrote and they sounded interesting. They're really a family house aren't they? Akon, laughing again, the idea of living with your family does not entice you at all. 
May I suggest to you that if you were telepathic and living by universal law, you would be happier living with them than not with your family. Our minds are like harmonies. They are like music together. We know and respect each other. We are not arguing, insulting, creating drama. No, I understand your preference to live alone under these circumstances but we on Meaton and on many places in the galaxy, have overcome these problems. It was necessary. Me, I'm just thinking there'd be no privacy. Like for times of intimacy. Akon, laughing, when you are telepathic, you can shut off others' links to your minds if you wish to do so. You do it with Ivo all the time. You simply focus on something else and drop the conversation. Me, I know. I'm so rude. Akon, not at all. You are only doing what comes naturally for a telepath. Me, okay. He doesn't seem offended. Akon, yes, sometimes your practice of manners hold you in chains. We are more relaxed about these things. Our habit of manners only comes from respect of others. Of course this is also necessary when you are telepathic because when you do not value someone as they would like, there will be a conversation and resolution to the problem. It is far easier than your Earth's way of communication. And things are dealt with as they arise, not left to fester. Me, so for your work, you study energy, star systems, suns, you said portals, vortexes and ley lines around planets. Akon, yes. Me, why? What are you looking for? Akon, it is about balance, keeping balance in the galaxy. When the sun is in imbalance, we hear the change in its vibration. It comes across to us as disharmony and we resolve at once to repair it because we are affected by it. Me, geez. I can imagine the racket you get from Earth. Akon, planets such as yours tend to be quarantined from our minds. We, in effect, train our minds to block out your negativity and chaos. As sensitive as we are, we would be driven mad by accessing your energies. So we must protect ourselves, while of course, we work to resolve the problem. However it will take time to correct your people's imbalance. Me, so everything is love, frequency, vibration, and balance, right? Akon, yes, in effect. Love is the energy, which splits out into a numerous frequencies, which need to be held in balance. An imbalance is always corrected. So we do this in star systems that are out of balance. Me, what about planets? Maybe they wobble or something? Akon, there are planetary specialists for these problems but at times it can be attributed to a gravitational problem with its sun and then a larger team is assembled. Me, what if suns go nova? Akon, we find this interesting. Me, so what happens to the beings on the planets when the sun goes supernova? Akon, they are removed long before that point and new homes found for them. Me, so when the sun goes nova, then there's a dead solar system, right? Is there any way to rejuvenate a sun to use the planets again? Akon, that is simply the lifetime of the being that is the sun, energy source, and the chakras, the planets. It dies, having fulfilled its function as a star system. More are born all the time, do not worry, the galaxy does not suffer from scarcity. Your mind does, though. Laughing. Me, oh, my limited thinking. Akon, we will have to work on that. Me, so are you still working with Sharon? Akon, yes, he is still my pilot. Me, so what of your family? Your parents? Are they still alive? Do you have siblings? Who do you live in your house with? Akon, my parents have passed away, as you call it. They are planning to be reborn again to my brother's children. My brother is Haben, the commander of the ship. Haben's mate is Pia who have children and our parents will be born as a child of my brother's sons and my mother will be born as a child of our friend's child. So we are close but there is no incest or inbreeding. We do watch our genes to be sure they are well mixed. It keeps up the integrity of our species. Me, so no surprises, then. Akon, no. However, there are cultures where incest is normal. Me, gross. Akon, and expected. To be born outside of your bloodline is considered treacherous. 
This is one reason why some of your royal families have practiced it. Me, gross. Akon, you find it repugnant but when you are in the galaxy, you will find so many things that go against your sensitivities. Yes, smiling, we need to break you in very slowly. Me, okay, so thank you Akon. I'm getting tired so I have to stop for the day. We'll resume this dialogue later and ask you more questions about what to expect out there. Akon, I bid you adieu. Me, bye. Thank you.